What's going on guys and welcome back to another video. So as you guys saw by the title, this is my first official game for the Villages SC in the USL 2. And I can't wait to take you guys along with me throughout the day and uh, show you guys how the game goes and everything like that. So I'm really excited, I'm looking forward to it. Those of you guys who have been with me on my journey for a while, I know that I've been working so hard for this moment for two years now. I've had to overcome injuries, I've had to overcome the pandemic last year, and to be able to get back here and make the team is just, it's just crazy. It means so much to me. Now, I don't know if I'm going to get any playing time tonight. We are playing probably the biggest game of the season tonight at home against one of the teams that always does well in the league with us. And uh, I think it should be a pretty good game. It's also a little special to me because I tried out for this team a couple seasons ago and they rejected me and then I went to the villages and they were gonna bring me in before injuries and then the pandemic and everything like that happened. So to get to play against the team that, you know, rejected me and everything will be will be pretty cool. So if I do get to get on the field and get to play against them, that will be that'll be pretty special. But either way, I'm really excited for the game. I'm excited to experience the atmosphere you guys saw in the last home vlog that I did of us uh, with the first home opener of the season. It was really cool. The atmosphere was amazing. All the fans are crazy cool. All the smoke bombs, the drums, everything like that. And I told you guys in that video that I really wanted to experience that as a player, you know, dressed up on the bench or on the field to like really soak it in firsthand instead of just being on the sideline helping to commentate. So I'm so happy I worked as hard as I could this week and they're giving me a chance to prove myself. So I'm ready just to work hard and hopefully do well if I get on the field and I'm just ready to experience it all firsthand. So hopefully it will be a great video today, but I'm gonna show you guys everything. I'll, again, I'll have my family get some clips throughout the game and everything like that. So it should be a good one. So let's go ahead and hop into it. What happened to it? 
Come here for a second. towards the touchline, now towards the box, tries to send one across, it's on the ground, and in, tapped in by Nicholas Butler, caught Florida Elite completely unawares. Personnel decisions. Try to get a little more defense in, loose ball in front of the net, and tapped in by Florida Elite. Get some space here, doesn't get a call that he thought he was going to, and a save by Weston in that first half. Tachu, lofts one, a little bit light, and a shot and a goal! takes the lead Motho with the kick the village is down two men in the 84th minute has just regained a one goal advantage unbelievable stuff from the village's sc it started with the guy gets through on it now chasing this ball and there's the final whistle the village's sc have done it playing shorthanded for the entire second half down two men for most of it come away with three points and first place in the Southeast Division. You had to see it to believe it. An unbelievable finish for the Buffalo. The Buffalo sit alone atop the table in the Southeast Division with four games elapsed so far, and they hear it from the fans. An incredible victorious effort from the Village's SC. My goodness leaving the field now absolute crazy scenes like i can't i can't even like describe the field i have like no voice we were celebrating so much it just went so crazy with the fans i know i didn't get to play but that's the best game i've ever been a part of either way to be a part of this environment and this atmosphere in this club it's just so crazy and such a good performance from all the guys that were on the field and to come out here in front of the supporter section over here and get the win i mean that's just means so much it's so crazy oh my goodness i'll i'll talk to you guys more whenever i get home because i'm still just so speechless after that absolute crazy seeds wild wild i tell you
All right, so it's been a little while since the game. It's now Tuesday because we had Sunday off. Then Monday was a holiday, so I went back with my uh, parents and I went home, visited them and everything. So I'm just now getting to the point to where I can end the video today. But basically it was just a really good game, really big win. It just felt amazing to be a part of that atmosphere, to be a part of that team. And I know I didn't get to play, but all the boys that were on the field put in such a good effort. To be one man down and then two men down for that long of a period, to like be able to still sit back defensively, but then also look to attack and everything like that. It was just insane, amazing performance from all the guys on the field. It was such a good good performance against a really good team. So I'm still buzzing about it, but it's time to start a new week, time to look to the next game and time to just regroup, refocus and keep working even harder. And I wanna keep working as hard as I can to stay on the 18. We have a lot of good competition. I know there are a lot of good guys on the team. So obviously whatever the coach decides, Obviously, I'll be disappointed that I'm not making it, but I completely support all of the guys that make the roster because everybody's so good and I just want the best for the team. So hopefully we can keep doing well. Hopefully things keep going up and hopefully we keep just progressing forward and forward each and every week. But that's going to go ahead and wrap it up for this video. I've got to go back to the facilities today. I'm going to be doing a little individual training session on my own just to get in some extra touches because I didn't have that good of a training today. So I just want to make sure I'm staying sharp, staying on my ball mastery stuff and all that good stuff. So I'll probably film that in a future video if you guys want to see what I do individually throughout the season. But that will be for another video. But I'll go ahead and end this one and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching.